What's up? Says here. I want to welcome you guys to my new series called My Workflow. On this show, I'll be showing you guys some of my favorite tips, some of my favorite tools, and some of the techniques that I used and to show you guys how I get my sound and hopefully help somebody. And today, I'm going to be talking about a new plugin called Gold Clip by Ryan Schwab of Schwab Digital. I really, really love this plugin because it's a clipper, but it does more than clipping. It adds character to your music. It does so much more than just clipping and driving your sound. I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm able to infuse that into my workflow and how I'm able to push my sound to that next level with this plugin. So without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so what is Gold Clip? Gold Clip is a clipper a loudness saturator, a mid and high frequency peak contour processor, a distortion device, a box tone generator, a clip clock, and a true parallel mixer. So basically, Gold Clip is a clipper on steroids. <laughs> basically, it can do what every other clipper can do, which is help control that dynamic range. You can um, have a bit more headroom to push your mix. You can drive into, into the clipper, you know, to have that distortion or saturation that you want that most clippers are known for but there's more to gold clip right because it, there's this vibe that it adds to the music that i cannot explain it's almost like i'm running the music through some type of hardware so the best scenario for me to use gold clip would be when i'm trying to prepare my mix for mastering right and i'm trying to add that extra 10 percent to the mix to just refine it and just make it sound you know ready to go and then I just send that out for that final refinement and then mastering. So what I do in that case is I render out the audio into different stems, right? Right now I have the drums, I have my melody, I have my bass and I have the vocals. So I have them in four different stems so that I can treat each element differently. Before I go into the mix, I think I should play the song right so that you can hear what the song sounds like without the gold clip when I Shout out to Praise for the vocals. Dope song. So that's the song, right? And it pretty much sounds great. I like where he's at right now. I like how it sounds. Um, but I just want to add that final, you know, sauce to it. Um, with the drums, I'm trying to clip, you know, I'm trying to take out some of the transients, right? To just control that dynamic range and to see how much I can get away with without messing up the integrity of the song. And just a bit more fullness, right? Add a bit more life to the drums, right? So I'm going to put a new instance of um, Go Clip so that we can do this together and see how, you know, how this works. So I'm not, the drums are not um, mixed super loud, right? So I can see that my peak is really hitting that minus six, right? So what I would do in this case is bring down the ceiling so that I can get some clipping without having to drive so much into, into the clipper, right? So um, I'm just going to bring down the ceiling, say, minus 7, minus 8.7, rather, and see how much clipping we are getting from that. Right, so I'm getting... I'm getting 2.4 dB of clipping and I think that's fair to be honest go 
going in and out, I, I'm really not, I can't really hear the difference. So, and for me, that's a good thing. I can do without 2.8 dBs of transient and still be able to maintain the integrity of the drum. So that's, that's a good thing for me, right? But guess what? I can push this go clip can go crazy. So if I go down 26 dBs, wow. I am destroying, destroying the drums, right? And this is cool, right? This is cool because I can decide to mix this in parallel. I can change the clipper type and they all sound different, but um, I like the classic. But let's let's hear what the other one sound like. There's a hat clipper. Yeah, so that's it. I like the classic because it's just just something about it. it. Just adds this roundness to the sound. Now this is where the magic begins. I'm going to add some gold processing. So what is gold? Gold is actually a compressor slash saturator, right? It's a compressor without attack and release. I do not know how this was programmed, but it just sounds so amazing because it adds such amazing saturation, such amazing harmonics to the sound. Let me just let me just play and let, let you hear what it does. can hear it, it just makes it come alive there's just something that just adds to you know to the to the presence of the drops right and also it's controlling you know the sound is because there's a there's compression happening and it's also bringing in bringing up some of those lower elements in the drums pretty much what compression does right um so there are two different types of gold processing there's the modern which adds maximum of 2.5 db of non-linear gain but there's the classic which is crazy because it adds 6 db of non-linear gain and this is just straight up distortion this is just straight up saturation right let me play yeah right you can hear that crunch you can hear that crunch right crazy let me talk about the unity button so the unity button you can think about the unity button like a uh, de-emphasis button right and what i mean by that is because of how much gain it adds non-linear gain it adds it can get like super loud and sometimes you don't want it to be louder you just want that compression and that saturation, but you don't want that apparent loudness. You just want what you just want what gold gives it, but you don't want it to be louder. So, and this is what unity is is for. It's basically reducing the audio the same amount of gain that was added to it. So it's you're adding non-linear gain, but you are reducing it, you know, in a linear form. As you can see, so if I bypass now, right, it's not, it's not any, it's not any louder or lower. It's just the same apparent loudness, but you can hear the crunch that um, gold adds to the audio when I click it back in. Right. But for this project, uh, I don't think I want it to be this crunchy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the modern. So I just, I just have 2.5 dB of linear uh, non-linear gain. Uh, 
Right. Now the beauty is I can decide, you know what, I want it to I want the I want the drums to slam. I want it I want it louder. I want I want to actually experience that apparent loudness, right? So I'm gonna just take out unity and let it flat. Without exactly. Now you can see my drums coming to life, and I'm not. I'm not really losing so much. I'm not ruining the the integrity of the drums already, but I'm. But I, I have a, that extra depth. I have that extra fatness, right, to to the drums, and that's why I really, really love Go Clip. All right. So for my melody, right. Um, I'm doing something very interesting with Gold Clip. Again, this is why Gold Clip is amazing. So with Gold Clip on my melody, I'm actually switching off the clipper. So with Control Click, I can take off the clipper. So now Gold Clip is just a saturator and a compressor and a box tune device, <laughs> if you must. Um, and that's so interesting because why do you have a clipper that I can decide not to clip with? So I'm switching off the clipper, right? And now what I'm trying to do with Gold Clip now that it's not a clipper is just to let Gold and Alchemy put in that work without being limited by, by, by the clipper, right? But I have to be very careful because I don't want to um, drive the, the audio so much that... I don't have the clipper to protect my audio because that's trouble, right? So um, let's hear what that sounds like. Wow. Uh, bypassed. Wow. Crazy. So I think this is one of those cases where I do not want like that apparent loudness. I just want what um, Gold Clip adds to you know to the material, but I don't want it to be super loud because that messes up the the balance of my of my of my mix. So this is where I use the Unity button, like I explained earlier, so I can maintain that that level. All right. Bypassed. Mm. Mm. Right, so uh, I think that the 6 dB is a bit too much because I can really hear that distortion and, and um, and that saturation that you add. So I'm just gonna back down a bit and see what that does for me. Mm. Right, so uh, not bad, not bad, but um. Let me see what I can get if I drive just a bit into, into gold clip, but try not to exceed the zero dB ceiling. So let me see if I can get away with that. But again, I'm um, linking the input and the output so that, you know, I can match, I can level match, you know, the audio. Okay. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot. Wow, you can hear that crunch. That cr oh man, that's that's crazy. Let me back down on gold. All right. All right. Right. So I think I like this. Let me <clears throat> let me um, click in and out and see what is adding. without 
This is with. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can feel that this there's some it there has some depth to the sound. It's almost like the low the lows of the melody is a bit more extended. It feels a bit more it feels fuller with with the gold added. Uh let me let me add some alchemy also to see what that does to our sound. Right, so um this is helping us clean up a bit of that distortion that you know um that 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 is coming from from gold um being pushed right so lastly um on my base the gold clip is not really doing much it's just um taking out some transients basically because um the base is the log drum type of base and one thing i noticed about log drums is they have this really spiky transient sometimes and they kind of in the club they can hurt your ears so i'm very wary about not clipping your log drums guys clip your log drums don't destroy your ears <laughs> so what does that what does that sound like So I'm taking out 2.1 dB. And as you can see, I'm not doing what I did with the drums, which is dropping the ceiling to catch those transients. And by this time, I'm actually driving into the, the ceiling to do the clipping because the log drums are loud enough for me to be able to drive a few dBs into the clipper without killing it, right? So here, what is actually being clipped out, what has been worked on by Gold Clip, there's the Delta button right here. So with this, you can actually um, just isolate that part of the of the audio that has been worked on by Gold Clip and it's been clipped out. So um, let me activate that and play the bass. So you can hear what has been taken out of the audio. Yeah, you can hear the click. Yeah, that's that. That's that sharp transient that has been taken off from the from the audio. And trust me, this might not sound like a lot, but when it's been mastered and everything is being brought out, you know, super loud, they can really um, cause a lot of damage. So, so anyway, so that's what I'm doing with the log drum. Um, with Gold Clip. Yeah, so pretty much that's that's what I have on all the major elements of the song. I'm not really doing anything to the vocals. I'm leaving that to my engineer to fit into the music. Um, so I'm not really doing so much to the vocals. But um, pretty much that's what uh that's what I'm doing to to the elements. And then at this point, I'm ready to um render out as a wave file, and then send that to my engineer to do the final touching and then master right so um let me play a before and an after of what gold clip has done to the mix and then hopefully you can tell you know how much gold clip has helped the music um mind you this is these are very subtle these are very very subtle changes so depending on what type of device you are listening to this with, you might not really be able to tell so much. But trust me, there's that, like I said, that one, that ten percent has been added to the music, and for me, it makes all the difference.
right? So pretty much that's how I use Gold Clip in my in my workflow. Um, I really love what it sounds like. I like what it does to my music personally, especially that, like I said, that extra 10% that might be missing, you know, from from your sound, that refinement, that, um, you know, that reform to the sound that, you know, that just takes the music to that next level. 